Mexico. Chichen Itza was one of the largest Maya cities and was a major focal point in the northern Maya lowlands from the late classic through to the early post-classic period and that demonstrated a variety of Maya and non-Maya architectural styles. Chichen Itza was likely to have been one of the mythical great cities, or Tolans, referred to in later Mesoamerican literature. The city may have had the most diverse population in the Maya world, a factor that could have contributed to the variety of architectural styles at the site. The archaeological site is located in Tinam Municipality, Yucatan State, Mexico. Some of the most notable features at Chichen Itza are El Caracol, looks like a modern observatory, Temple of the Warriors, and the Temple of the Big Tables, immediately to the left. Above the floor of the Great Ball Court you can see the stone ring for ball games. The platform of Venus in the Great Plaza. Kukulkan Pyramid a magnificent pyramid also called El Castillo. Mosaic mask on the western face of La Iglesia. Other elaborate mosaic masks. A feathered serpent sculpture at the base of one of the stairways of Kukulkan, El Castillo. And the Los Manches Royal Palace. Chichen Itza is relatively easy to get to, either by bus trips from Merida, or shore excursions from cruise ships docking in Cancun or Progreso. Guatemala Tikal National Park is a vast archaeological site that dates from thousands of years back. With so much historical importance, of course it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular places to visit in Guatemala. So, if you feel like wandering the jungle in search of ancient temples, Tikal is the place to do it. Naturally, it's best to embark on an adventure like this with some direction. It's best to have a little background on Tikal to appreciate how truly impressive it is. While it's now an extensive archaeological site just north of Guatemala City, Tikal was a major city of the Mayans in its time. The history of settlement at Tikal stretches back as far as 1000 BC, but the earliest parts of the site date back to the 4th century BC. The city was at its most developed from 200 to 900 AD, but it was abandoned shortly after that, gradually becoming lost to the immense Guatemalan jungle. Although locals remained aware of its existence, it wasn't fully surveyed until the mid-19th century. Today, Tikal is one of the best archaeologically understood sites in Central America. The most important stop on any Tikal itinerary is the Grand Plaza. Once the central square of the city, this is the easiest place to imagine the bustling ancient Tikal. At opposite ends are the towering Temple I and Temple II. On the two other sides of the plaza stand the North Acropolis and the Central Acropolis. Temple I, or the Temple of the Great Jaguar, stands 47 meters high. It was finished around 750 AD as a tomb for King Jade Sa Chan Kea I, and many artifacts have been recovered from within it. Temple II, or the Temple of the Masks, is a little shorter at 38 meters and a little older, having been finished around 700 AD. What really sets Temple II apart is that you can climb it for great views of the Grand Plaza. You can also explore both Acropolises to see the plaza and the two temples from new angles. While climbing any of the temples involves some steps, none can compete with the workout you get from Temple IV. Standing 70 meters high and towering over the surrounding trees, this is Tikal's tallest pyramid. In fact, it's the largest Mayan pyramid of its time and the tallest pre-Columbian structure still standing. Unlike some other temples, it isn't all that steep or tricky to climb, it's just a long way up. Besides the thrill of hiking up an ancient pyramid, Temple 4 is most popular for the views from the top, so you'll find plenty of people marveling along with you up here. 
The view isn't just of treetops, you can actually see several other Decal temples poking out. This viewpoint even featured in Star Wars, A New Hope. Temple B stands south of the central Acropolis and is a mortuary pyramid. It has been dated AD 700, in the late classic period of the Mayas. It is the second tallest structure in Tikal, Guatemala. The greatest pyramid reveal comes when you reach Temple 5. One moment, you're walking along a trail surrounded by trees, the next, a clearing with a giant temple appears out of nowhere. At 57 meters high, this is the second tallest temple of Tikal. Like Temple 2, Temple 5 dates back to around 700 AD. Temples 3 and 4 were two of the later temples to be built in Tikal, dating back to 810 and 741 AD, respectively. Temple 3, or the Temple of the Jaguar Priest, is such a steep and solid structure that it almost seems more like a carved rock than a human-made structure. Temple 4 is often referred to as the Temple of Inscriptions, thanks to the hieroglyphs lining its roof comb. The other plazas and temple complexes throughout Tikal tend to get less attention from tour groups than the ones we've covered so far, but they're just as fascinating, and quieter to boot. A perfect example is the Lost World Pyramid in the Mundo Perdido complex, one of the oldest structures in Tikal. Its final form, now covered in vegetation, dates back to the 4th century and stands almost 100 meters tall, with a viewing platform at the top. The Tikal site is very large and is sometimes called the Plaza of Seven Temples. It is a must-see for anyone visiting the country of Guatemala. Tikal is located near Flores, in the Patan Department of Northern Guatemala. Belize Caracol Mayan ruins contain the central core of three plaza grounds bounded by two ball courts, a necropolis, buildings, temples, palaces and sacred sites that include altars and places for ceremonial worship. Perhaps the most often written about attraction at Caracol is the Sky Palace, Kana, the tallest man-made structure in Belize. It towers above the settlement at a height of 136 feet, but for those eager to get a complete picture of this ancient world, the steel, tombs, Hieroglyphic inscriptions and intricate architectural details will fill in the voids. The main reason to visit Caracol, in addition to seeing Kana, is to take in the grandeur of a destination that contains over 35,000 buildings. This factor alone makes Caracol a one-of-a-kind attraction. There's an astronomic observatory within the community and you may have a chance to marvel at reservoirs and causeways that reflect the sophistication of the society that built this empire. From San Ignacio, Belize, take the mountain Pine Ridge Road south to Caracol 23. Please note that Caracol is located deep within the Chica Bull Forest Reserve of western Belize, making it both remote and difficult to access. The drive from San Ignacio to Caracol ruins takes about two hours it is recommended to hire a 4x4 vehicle and a guide for the trip. Unless you are good at off-roading it is best to take a tour bus. Honduras Construction of the city of Copan is not thought to have begun until around 100 AD with its population peaking as high as 28,000 by around 760 AD. The dynastic era, also known as the Classic Period, was considered Copan's golden age, lasting for around 400 years, from 427 to 822. It was during this time that its main temples and plazas were constructed along with numerous stelae, the stone monoliths representing kings. It wasn't until the 1830s that archaeologists began to unearth, map and decipher the site. Excavations revealed a ruined citadel surrounded by five imposing public squares as well as scores of sculptures. How to visit Copan, what not to miss. Stelae of the Grand Plaza the main plaza is home to over a dozen stelae and altars dating from the 7th to 9th centuries. Ball Court, the Juego de Pelota, Ball Court, dates from 731 AD and is the second largest in Central America. 
hieroglyphic stairway, this is Copan's most famous monument and leads to one of the principal temples. It is intricately carved with thousands of hieroglyphic symbols on the risers of its 63 steps making it the longest known Maya hieroglyphic inscription. Acropolis, this lofty flight of steps mounts the Templo de las Inscripciones, Temple of the Inscriptions, where several courts, patios, and altars branch off. Núñez Chinchilla, 150 meters to the north of the Grand Plaza is the site of 23 residential structures that are currently undergoing excavation. Las Sepulturas, the main reason to visit Las Sepulturas, located 5 kilometers from the main site, is the atmospheric one-hour walk along the ancient Maya thoroughfare. Museo de Escultura, Copan is unique among Maya ruins for its many sculptures. This museum, which is fully signed in English, displays some of the site's finest examples. Rosalila and Los Jaguars Tunnels, the two subterranean tunnels gives visitors a glimpse of the ancient structures from underneath the visible surface structures. There are several ways to get to Copan, Honduras. The closest international airport is San Pedro Sula. Although San Pedro has a notorious reputation, it's perfectly safe to transit through. You can take two different buses from the San Pedro bus terminal, the only one of its kind in Central America, it's quite organized and easy to navigate. El Salvador Tajamal in El Salvador is a Maya archaeological site in Chalcuapa. It was the first archaeological park created in El Salvador, which is among the oldest in Central America. Before the Europeans arrived in what is now known as Central America, the Mayan civilization was one of the dominant and impressive cultures that thrived in the area. After their collapse, the Maya Indians left many fascinating architectural remains scattered all over the region. One of those impressive sites is the El Tajamal Mayan ruins in El Salvador. Even though the Tajamal ruins are not as impressive as those found in Guatemala or Belize, they are worth visiting and exploring, they offer a great insight into Salvadoran history. You will be surprised to know what you can discover when you visit the Tajamal archaeological site. Among the group of structures, you will see the pyramids in their splendor, temples, and tombs, among others. As soon as you enter the place, you notice that the atmosphere changes because it seems to become more solemn. We are entering what is believed to be the place where souls are consumed. Stanley H. Box Museum. It is located from the front of the pyramid to the left, it is small but very organized, so you can visit it when you enter or on your way out after going through all the ancient installations. Anyway, we will see sculptures and diverse objects collected in several excavations. Main Pyramid. With its being more than 20 meters high, it stands upright, still showing its beauty, although the use of cement on its exterior is discussed, it must have done this to preserve its integrity. El Tajimal. In its interior, there are discovered tombs, precious stones, and everyday items for the inhabitants. Second Pyramid of Tajimal. It is much smaller than the previous one, at the time, it had a temple on top which collapsed in 2004. Also, it is observed what could have been a patio for the ball game. Stone of the Triumphs. An extraordinary rock has petroglyphs engraved on its four faces. Tajimal Stila. Also known as the Virgin, it is the most fundamental piece found here, it is a sculpture more than two meters high, decorated with a tire and holding a scepter. How to get to Tajimal? If you already have in your travel plan to know this splendid locality, you must reach the town of Santa Ana by the CA1 road, and there take the bus that will leave you at the entrance of the archaeological ruins of Tajimal. Cholula
Edna. El Mirador. Palenque. Tulum. Look small. 